So before we get into this, I just want to make a short disclaimer. So I did try to upload this on the day I am recording this, which is December 20th, uh, 23, of course. Uh, but due to the community guideline strike, this video probably won't get released until December 28th, 29th around that time. Uh... I have been banned for uploading on YouTube for a week, so that should be Wednesday or Thursday of next week, which by next week I mean whatever day you're seeing this coming out. So I just want to make a short disclaimer on that YouTube has royally screwed me on this, and so has NASCAR for giving me the strike. So. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy what I have to say. So I'm just going to get into the main point of this right off the bat. Uh, YouTube in the NASCAR community is kind of becoming a dying thing. Several creators are getting mass copyright claimed, meaning that they can't make money off their videos. Now the whole reason I'm saying this is because I've never made money off of my videos. Never could ever get approved for it. I have all the requirements, I just never wanted to approve me. But it's becoming a problem to the people who are getting approved by it. And like Slap Shoes, Brock Beard, Darian Gilliam, they use any form of media in their videos. Now, it was being reported that most of the content was coming from 2000 to 2004. Most of the content that is coming from the claims from me has been from 2015 to 2020. And honestly, it's really becoming annoying because NASCAR is just now doing something about it. Like, NASCAR on YouTube has always been a thing since around 2006. People have made compilation videos. People have even uploaded full races. Ever since the new NASCAR Classics channel came out, full NASCAR races have become a dying trend. So people quit doing it as well. The whole reason we were doing it is because no one else was. That's how much content should work, and that's how it should be. Now, most of the things I've been claimed with, as I already mentioned, it's newer stuff. And from what it was, it wasn't me uploading a full race, as I did do that a couple times, and once those videos got claimed, I deleted them because I figured, well, why am I doing it? Other people are doing it. What my videos are being claimed as, it's compilation style stuff like top fives or scariest flips or even music videos. Now, making music compilations, I have realized, yes, those will never make a profit because it's using a copyrighted song. Now that, understandable. But for the sole fact I uploaded a video in 2017, keep in mind ago, that was six years ago, coming up on seven. And it's just now getting claimed by NASCAR. That video was claimed the second I uploaded it back in April of 2017 by whoever the hell the song was made by. Now, if you noticed on Twitter, every almost all the big NASCAR reporters, as I've mentioned, and YouTubers have came out and said that their videos are being mass flagged. And I even came out and made a response on YouTube's community post last night. I said some words I probably shouldn't have said. NASCAR took it upon themselves to report it, and now I have a community guideline strike on my channel for, quote, I quote, unquote, you can't see my fingers, but I'm doing the quotation thing, harassment and bullying. So I will provide you some screenshots as well as the community guidelines thing. I know I'm not really allowed to show you that stuff because, well, it's, quote, unquote, confidential, but... It's at the point where if stuff doesn't change, I will go and private my NASCAR videos because I I don't want to risk losing this channel. I have too much on here that I value, like race recordings where I go in person because I do record for a media company and I am a photographer so I need to get that stuff out there somehow. I'm done making compilations. I haven't done those since arguably early 21 and I've more shifted towards in-person coverage and livery compilations, so that's the thing between Feld and NASCAR. We've all known Feld Entertainment was bad. NASCAR's just now coming out and saying they're a dick. But I'm going to provide some screenshots for you, so here you go. 
So first off, I want to go over the strike I got for last night. I did I did I did appeal it, and of course, as YouTube ever does, they don't actually go over the whole story. So that um, never got approved. The appeal got denied, and I still have a strike on the channel. So I'll have that until March of next year. So that's good to know. Very good to know. And um, with this, this is the next uh, copyright claim. It was NASCAR scariest flips, as you can tell. This was updated on December 19th of this year. If you're seeing this video today, it came out. This strike came out yesterday. It's for NASCAR Coke Zero 400. So this was the Austin Dillon crash, and it's just find it kind of sickening that they're just now starting to do these claims third one coming up uh, the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series <coughs> uh, from Talladega and as you can see that was that radioactive video the music had already been claimed back in 2017 which was I was fine with but they wait seven years to claim it on this which makes zero no sense at all so I feel like I'm gonna wrap up my thoughts now about a couple minutes uh, first things first, I want to ask what I should do. Should I leave the videos up? Should I go for another form of content? Because I know with the Monster Jam videos, I had to private all of them. Because I know most of you guys were wondering what happened to all those ginormous viewed videos I had with Monster Jam. Feld ended up taking two of them down. I got two copyright strikes. That's why I went on a big hiatus for a couple months before I started doing the mass media coverage back in summer. Uh, they mass striked my videos, and I decided I needed to act fast before I lost everything. And I ended up privating most of them, and I haven't got claimed on them since. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing with NASCAR because... I don't know if there's a limit to how many videos you can get claimed before no YouTube decides to take it down for third party claim, but it's gotten to the point where I might not have a choice and I really don't want to lose all the footage that I've recorded myself. It, it's getting to the point where if I lose all the reaction videos from the past and all the music and compilation videos, I really won't care. I just don't want to lose the footage of me going to these races and actually being a cameraman. Not a good one, but still, nonetheless, it makes me happy that I do that. And uh, I'm a very small creator in this community. I wouldn't even consider myself part of the community. I'm not known by a lot of people. But I just feel like I should get my voice out there because some of the most of the people that have have spoken on this are pretty popular in the community. I wanted to give my insight since I'm not really the most known. But I, I really just wanted to let you guys know that. Now, just let me know what I feel like I should, what you think I should do. I'll get back with some of you guys in the comments. Other than that, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of the year. Tulsa shootout's coming up. Can't wait for that. Chili Bowl. Gonna be happening soon. That's usually a popular time for my channel, is in January. But, I, that'll do it. Just NASCAR and YouTube slowly dying. It's kind of becoming like the Monster Jam community. Sad to see. Anyway, see you guys.